Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. So my name is Gautam. I am from Vijnaram, Andhra Pradesh. And recently I have made it to a airport authority of India. The post name is Junior Executive Air Traffic Control. And uh, coming to my graduation studies, I have completed my mechanical engineering. So let's talk about physics subject. Uh, in the physics, uh, many people faced difficulty in understanding the concepts and solving the problems uh, the applicability part everyone knows the concept but the application part is difficult so what i did was uh, we have uh, i have wrote, wrote all the formulas in a page uh, like a kind of uh, short notes uh, like starting from the 11th class ncrt books till the last chapter of 12th class ncrt books there I have made a short notes of all the formulas like important relations and important conceptual points and then I start started attempting test book mocks which gives us a good uh, exam interface like app interface so after getting the first mock test after experiencing the first mock test I, I have got disappointed because my score was so less then I have done uh, this error analysis uh, by which like they give the weak areas and the errors which we have done in the mock so i have gone through the errors and i have rectified the concepts behind that i have reread the concepts of those related mistakes from the book again and i have tried solving again so then i have observed that uh, after getting a clear understanding of the formula application and the concept behind it now i could able to solve those questions so in the second mock i have got improved five marks and in the third mark three more marks so as we proceed with the mocks, the score keeps on increasing, provided there is a consistent effort in the correction of errors especially and continuous gaining of knowledge of the concepts and the formula. So you should know, like if you see a question, uh, we should be able to figure it out from what chapter and what, what formula need to be applied so that it gets solved. And uh, another thing I have done is that uh, there is a book uh, like Arihant master resource book and there are so many physics books like uh, from various organizations from which I have got their short notes and formulas as well so whenever I find a formula is difficult to remember or kind of a typical formula which is going to be coming in exam or I feel like it is important I took a screenshot of that or of, I have took a pic of that from the book and I have showed it uh, made it as a flashcards album so every day in the morning time, like five to six o'clock, which is a study best uh, efficient study time, I used to revise those formulas till the end of the exam date. So by this, in the week, within no week, I have got astonishing results that I have, by default, I have remembered all the formula. So what I was saying is that uh, just keep on uh, working on all of the formulas and. Uh, just uh, solving the mock tests either subject wise or full length mock tests of two hours duration you will come to know what formula needs to be applied to what so this made it to score 54 out of 60 or else it's like 28 out of 30 in my physics score so those two questions were of silly mistakes so i think you could also improve the score because of uh, these all things i hope these things are useful like coming to the crux of the uh, talk let, let's say uh, flashcards error notes i mean error analysis of from the mock and uh, formula short notes so this would help you in getting more score so now let's go to the non-tech portion that is general knowledge general aptitude general intelligence and english so let's come to the first thing, general knowledge. I didn't prepare much for the general knowledge because it covers a vast, GK is ocean. So I felt like there is no time to prepare for GK. So I recommend if you are at least uh, aware of the current affairs, that would be enough to score at three to four marks out of 10. But uh, I recommend you to go through uh, the static part of the general part, just like history or uh, current affairs, something like that, to score six out of 10 because the four marks uh, you have to lose because it is kind of inefficiency part. And the second thing, general aptitude. For this, I have referred R.S. Agrawal sir's book, 
uh, like uh, quantitative aptitude, verbal reasoning, non-verbal reasoning. Uh, these three books include the two sections, general intelligence and general aptitude. You, you will find quant portion in the general aptitude and uh, non-verbal reasoning in the general intelligence. So they have named the subjects so like uh, non-verbal quant uh, like in the form of uh, general intelligence and general aptitude respectively. And the last thing coming to the English, this <clears throat> from the childhood as we were, uh, we were reading grammar part and basic topics like active voice, passive voice, di indirect voice, uh, direct speech, indirect speech and error corrections, syn antonyms, synonyms. So I hope you could be scoring at least 75% of this, that is 15 by 20. So I would say that uh, leave the GK part behind and uh, let's say based on the uh, general strategy or general knowledge, basic knowledge you have and since we don't have no, uh, negative marking, you can attempt all of them. Uh, like uh, let's say there are, you have attempted four and Paki six, you can attempt it as a fluke or something like blind guess. Let's say out of six, you have got three correct. So ultimately you have scored seven out of 10, which is more than enough.